So hi guys, I'm Aditi from PTE Universe and the IELTS Universe, and this is another series of our session where we're gonna learn important reading tips. Since in reading time is very less, we need to have certain strategies in our mind for different kind of question types to master the reading section. So I will teach you first key strategies. Then we will apply the key strategies on certain sort of questions so that you are able to apply that. I'm also gonna talk about grammar, how grammar can help you solve the questions in less period of time. So whatever are your doubts, you can put it in the comment section so that we can take your doubts after the session. So let me quickly begin the session and uh, uh, just to make sure if you face any kind of difficulty, any kind of problem, you can quickly come in the Zoom group chat box and you can type it so that I can take along with it. Now, three key reading skills first I'm going to focus on. So many people, you know, they are reading, but they are not reading uh, in a manner which is purposeful. Whenever we read, guys, our purpose of reading is to find answer of the question. So three key reading skills. Again and again, I'm telling three key reading skills you need to know if you want to score high. This is skimming, scanning, detailed reading. What is skimming? What is scanning? I will make you understand because these three are equally important. If you have seen my other lessons on my, which I have recorded and posted on my YouTube channel, you will see many of the times I talk about skimming, scanning, detailed readings, vocabulary, grammar, context, importance of topic sentences. So when I talk about skimming and scanning, the people are like, oh my God, it's very difficult to do. Well, that's not the case. Think for a moment and uh, just apply the strategy in your next reading and see you will be thankful to me okay i have learned the art skimming is nothing but reading to get a generic idea so maybe in the reading you know we are given lots of big passages you need to see okay passage a is talking about pollution passage b is talking about effects of pollution maybe passage c is talking about advantages and disadvantages of public transport so skimming is nothing guys getting general meaning and what happens with 99% of the people, they're trying to read and understand each and every word. That is why they're failing. Because of course, in exam, we don't have time to understand each and every word and you will not know the meaning of each and every word. So don't try that. That's not at all required. Now coming next, how to skim read? We know what is skimming, but we don't know how to skim read. So see, I'm going to take you to the passage. Fine, let's say this is the passage. You can see a passage in front of you front of you so when you want to do the skimming and reading you need to read the title what is the titles mushrooms may reduce the risk of mild brain decline so of course this passage is reduced talking about how mushrooms are going to reduce the risk of mild brain decline so first read the titles and if there are any headings subheadings so this is the title then you can see this is the first sentence and topic sentence. Now, let me tell you what is the importance of first sentence or I say topic sentence. The paragraph, every paragraph is a first sentence. That is our first sentence or that gives us a main idea what the passage is mainly going to talk about. So make sure you quickly glance through it and every paragraph, first lines and last lines are important. Sometimes it's not also important. It's not always it's going to be important. But yes, it gives you a good idea what the paragraph is about. Like we do in our uh, writing, we first give the topic idea, then supporting idea, then examples. Mostly it is like this, but don't take it for granted. Now, one more thing, guys. There are sometimes key information in the passage. Key information or keywords are what? names, dates, certain sort of things which cannot be paraphrased. So that actually helps us in solving the reading in less period of time. Last paragraph, if you go down, generally, last paragraph is the summary. Summary, you understand conclusions. So this provides us a, a kind of summary what the entire paragraph is all about. So what is now scanning? Because two techniques are very important when it comes to reading skimming and scanning now let's come to scanning guys skimming i've made you understand scanning is guys uh, trying to read in a manner to find specific information and uh, guys scanning scanning is going to help you solve multiple choice single answers multiple choice multiple answers and many other question types in less period of time by scanning it doesn't mean that only you look for keyword scanning is much more than it so let's understand the art of scanning as well as and how to scan the text. So guys, once you read in the most of the reading, as I've mentioned before, we have less time. 
so you need to read quickly in order to find specific information and scanning probably won't give you the actual answer what happens with people is they learn this technique and they're like just quickly going to the keyword let's say the keyword is 1997 professor zimbardo died because of so they will find 1976 professor zimbardo they'll go to the passage and they'll try to find it but it might not give you the actual answer because answer might be in the next line but it will help you locate where the answer is you need to always locate and read that line carefully people are locating the answer they are not reading the lines carefully for that you need to be an active reader you could be searching for a name date phrase synonym and as with skimming guys this technique allows you to find the information quickly quickly means in less span of time and guys in ielts or in pd time is the biggest essence if you can save time you will be able to invest that time in difficult questions so scanning is another important skill what is scanning how to scan the text now let's come to the question yeah as you can see here if you see this question with the help of a question i'm going to show you skill team is an example of company which whenever you get multiple choice single answer multiple choice multiple answer skimming scanning are going to help you a lot always first read the question so i read my question skill team is an example of company which identify the keywords what is the keyword here skill team once you find your keyword you can go to the passage and try to locate that same keyword here so that you know you can uh, easily find the information so once you find your keyword here i found skill team i will try to read that particular lines very very carefully it's not necessary that i will find the answer in that line only i might have to read the next line or in line after it be aware of the text that may contain synonyms of keywords now people what they do they only locate the keywords they are not good with vocabulary if you have attended my previous sessions i've been telling you grammar vocabulary pronunciation core skills are the fundamental skills on which these exams are based on whether it's ielts or pt your core skills are really very important so actually when you if you apply you need to also look for synonyms and that's when paraphrasing comes into practice so we are also launching a new course called zero to hero where which can help you with all these paraphrasing and synonym stuff so when you scan the text scan and try to look for that particular word and read in more detail like i found this keyword here now so i'll read it in detail so to see which option it is making sense so this was all about skimming and scanning i'm going to look into one more question to give you an idea so see this question is at which university was the study carry out out so what is the keyword here university now university is something which you can easily find see this if you see here you can easily find in the second paragraph can you look at here it's given national university of singapore studies findings were based on and here we are just asking on which university was the study carried out so answer straight away comes to be national university of singapore so basically what how is the these questions solved in less period of time first you read the question you identify the keywords then you go to the passage you try to locate the keywords you find that keyword you read those lines in details and that's it nothing more than that i'll also show you one more question and then we'll do bit tricky question some more techniques i will teach you because i personally feel if you will understand these techniques reading is will be a piece of cake for you what substance in mushrooms is believed to defend the brain against issues with recollection if you see this again always first read the question then technique number 2 is scanning for keywords so here scan for keywords such as defend brain issues recollection now guys in the passage answers will not be given like straight away you will find these keywords it's not that simple exams are going to check your vocabulary your grammar fine so it's bit tricky so you can think of possible synonyms so defend i can say protect defend can be protect okay then think of other synonyms uh, i can called issues can be problems so like this is keywords i mean vocabulary is very very important when it comes to solving reading writing listening or speaking recollection can be some sort of memory 
like this. So, in fact, synonyms have been used. Now, go to the passage. A unique antioxidant present in mushrooms could have a protective effect on the brain, the study found. Can you see this? Paragraph one. Here the question was, again, you can check the question, which substance is believed to defend the brain against issues with recollection? And here straight away it's given antioxidant. So like this, basically, now three things we used, we applied skimming, we applied scanning, we applied what are the keywords, and we applied synonyms and paraphrasing. So questions are not based on one technique, questions are based on couple of so techniques to, so that you can solve the questions in less period of times. So this is how we solve. Now I'm going to take you to one more technique before we solve more questions or we apply the techniques on real exam questions. And this is how we are doing in our paid classes. We are making sure that you first understand the tricks. Then we make sure that you're able to apply these tricks on real exam questions so that you can solve the questions in less period of time with higher speed and accuracy. Apart from that, guys, we are also launching new courses which are solely based on improving readings writing speaking and listening we are launching a course called grammar zero to hero to improve your grammatical skills we are also launching a course speaking where we can work on your speaking skills and we have group classes and one-to-one -one classes also available now i'm gonna make you understand the next technique which is distractors this is the favorite technique on which examiners are going to mark you or they're going to make sure you mess up because many people don't know about the distractors. So basically, some people just like to match keywords. They're not good readers. They are just, okay, I'll match the keywords, I'll get the answer. But that's not the case. Most of the time, you will be able to uh, match the keywords, but certain sort of words will be changed, which will change the entire meaning. Now see this option. Test lovers, the people who are setting your exams, they know, the examiners know that students are not good at reading. When they're reading, they read very fastly, which is good, but they don't read for meaning. They read for keywords only. If you're one of them, you will fail for sure. See this example. We call them qualifying words. We call them distractors. If you've attended my workshop, which was Road to Success, you must have got an idea where we talked about IELTS and PT tips and tricks in detail. Everyone who ate the prawn sandwiches at the party was ill. Means each and every people. Means if there were 50 people in the party, 50 were ill. 50 out of 50. Most people who ate the prawn sandwiches at the party were ill. Means let's say there were 50 people. Most means it could be 30, 40. It can be 45. It can be 42, anything. But it's different. Everyone means each one of them. And most means mostly like more than a certain number. It could be some people, some people who ate. It could be like that as well as then, then also the meanings get changed. If I say that some people eat, it's a different meaning. Some means few people. It could be two, it could be three, it could be four, more than one. So basically these are distractors. These are qualifying words. So it's not like I'll just uh, go for the keywords. I'll look for prawn and sandwiches in the party and I'll try to see it in the passage and I'll try to mark, okay, which option is making sense. I ha always have to check for the meaning. I always have to check for disqualifying words or distractors. So this was our technique number three. Now I'm going to take you to the technique number four. Have a look. So what happens in, uh, I mean, these exams, when you solve reading section, some answers have been included to tempt the readers. Examiners know that uh, when people read certain sort of new information, they generally mark it out as their answer. But guys, uh, to my surprise, I'll tell you that if you do like this, you will not be able to solve the questions correctly. Always, 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 mark it as a golden rule out of scope option something which is not discussed in the passage ever before is never your answer one second information which is opposite will never be your answer third you need to be cautious of the words not which of the following is not true not means not true 
means which is false so these not these changes this one word change the entire meaning of the passage so don't be fooled by it fine and sometimes maybe i'm looking for the negative effect of rise but in the passage positive effects are given passage a is positive effects passage b is negative effect so maybe positive effects are given in the options as an answer but my question is what which of the following is the negative effect of rise so i need to look for only negative effect what people do they don't read the question carefully they will read the question half mindedly passive reading they do if you read not reading the question carefully not understanding the question how will you find the answer so golden tip one is always 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 read the question carefully and see what the question is asking you so this was about the technique now we will apply a trick on a question to make sure you have understood my techniques and then i'll teach you two more techniques which will be the golden tricks see this question in paragraph 1 the writer suggests that companies could consider so it's a multiple choice question which appears regularly in ielts and pt both exams here you will always have to make sure you read the question first if you do not do this you will be going blind eye you don't know what you are looking for then read identify the keywords here so paragraph 1 companies could consider once you read the past question you can go to the passage look now read the passage and try to think about the meaning don't spend too much time on this and try to predict the correct answer just read the passage i'm giving you a minute and put your answer in the comment section Quickly read the passage, guys, and uh, I'll be waiting for your answers in the Zoom group chat box. In paragraph one, the writer consider. The general assumption is that older workers are paid more in spite of rather than because of their productivity. That might partly explain why. when employers are under pressure to cut costs they persuade a 55 year old to take early retirement so that is you know when they're trying to decrease the cost which is happening nowadays so they generally want old people to get retired take away seniority based pay scales and older workers may become a much attractive employment proposition so either they want seniority based pay scales or they want older workers but most employers and many workers are uncomfortable with the idea of reducing someone's pay but he is telling that many people don't want that okay they sh- they they're not comfortable that they should reduce someone's pay in later life although although is again showing contrast so sometimes in reading what happens the examiners add distractors they add kind of uh, discourse markers transition words or connectors which changes the meaning although means contrast manual workers on pay rated often on less as they get older so retaining the surfaces of old workers may mean employing them in different ways now come to the passage mark your answer in the zoom group chat first read each of the sentences the four possible options to get a general idea then skim read the text to get the general meaning abolishing pay schemes that are based on age avoiding pay that is based on pay rates increasing pay equipping older worker with new skills now three of the options have the keyword pay so i scan you can scan for it as well as so answer uh, is in the first passage as it is given if you have seen we have, we have talked about take away seniority based pay skills and older workers may become a much more attractive employment proposition now if you see we are not talking about uh, equipping persons with old skills we have never talked about it we are going to provide if, if them new skills we are going to improvise their learning so this is not an answer not given is never the answer increasing pay anywhere we have talked about pay that we are going to increase the pay no 
pressure to cut the cost no it's all wrong so the option which is opposite is never the answer c option increasing pay is not the answer avoiding pay that is based on peace rates we we have encountered a word peace rate if you see read this but we have not even talked about peace rate that we are going to kind of you know avoid pay that is based on peace rate so of course this is also not given and not given option is never the answer but if i talk about abolishing pay schemes that are based on age if you see this you i did i identify your sentence i don't know about you take away seniority based pay schemes and older workers see read this line where my cursor is so take away is a synonym synonym for abolish fine see see this take away this is a synonym for abolish so answer is not given directly skimming scanning skimming scanning plus synonyms triple s was the technique which we used here for solving the question i hope it's clear with everybody now i'm going to solve one more question with you skill team is an example of a company which read the question and read the options to get a general idea you read the question we'll go to the passage now while reading i think you have identified keywords scan for skill team and you will get your answer this is a easy one see the read the passage b i'll give you a minute See, read now. One innovation was devised by IBM, faced with the need to cut staff costs, and having decided to concentrate cut on fifty-five to sixty-year-olds, IBM set up a separate company called Skill Team. I got my keyword. I'll read it now carefully. Which re-employed any of the early retired who wanted to go on working at the age of sixty, an employee who joined Skill Team at the age of fifty-five on a five-year contract would work for. Fifty-eight percent of his time over the full period for eighty percent of his last IBM salary. So basically, this company offers services to IBM, allowing it to retain access to some of the intellectual capital. So no obvious keywords to scan for, if you see. So my strategy was to read the options and try to understand the information in each one of them, so that I could try to match. And maybe you know synonyms are used like previously. Now see options. Offer old workers increase in salary. Nowhere we are talking anywhere about increase in salary. This is straight away eliminated. People to continue working for long as they want. No, companies are not looking for the people who want to work as long. They are just giving them. They when they want to old employees, they are retaining them like this. So they are doing according to them. Treat old. We have not talked about equality and inequality. This is not given. But this is given. C is given. If you read the lines. we have said allowing it last line was this only i'm again taking you to the passage to show you for those who were not able to find it see this see this the company offered services to ibm thus allowing it to retain access to some of the intellectual capital it would otherwise have lost so the synonym of expertise is intellectual capital it's quite likely you won't know this but you will still be able to select the correct answer guys by applying poe what is poe process of eliminate elimination eliminate the wrong options if you are not able to directly find the right answer and then try to see which option is better one as compared to the other ones and you will be able to solve the passage in less period of time
so readings are not about just guys uh, skimming and scanning you need to think about meaning maybe uh, two options may be very much similar don't spend too much time on understanding because you need to save time for next question okay sometimes we have to predict an answer most of the people are like okay they try to find exact keywords but that doesn't work prediction is a very 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 important technique which you should know if you are willing to take these exams and score high in these exams but uh, prediction what i mean is i'm trying to come to okay this can be the answer so from your general understanding of the text you may be able to make a prediction okay this is the meaning of this word fine and this might not be the meaning of the word so narrow down the option sometimes you might not be able to get uh, an idea in a minute so we read the text at the same time particularly applying skimming and scanning so that you can cross out the wrong option what people ask me what's their problem is how to find options between answer between the similar answers of course it's common to end up with two very similar answer options that are very very similar but you can paraphrase each one in your own words paraphrasing is very very important guys and uh, i have given you an example of distractors at the beginning qualifying words that is very helpful keywords and synonyms and still if you're not able to do just to mark and move on so uh, i'm going to quickly revise what we have learned so far and uh, guys we are launching new batches for ielts pt and nati if you want to enroll you can enroll fine we are also providing the one to one classes as well as group classes at uh, different times and we are serving all the countries as of now also we have recently started a course called zero to hero grammar course what happens is here if you don't know the passage exactly knowledge of grammar is going to help you a lot like i know okay if i read the question it's asking for a place when is like for a time which is for a thing how maybe the process fine or when i see where the blank is in the pt reading in ielts reading it, it comes very frequently so the positioning of the blank helps me in determining okay noun will come adjective will come adverb will come and that is very important because every time you will not know the meaning of the word sometimes knowledge of grammar plus vocabulary plus your general understanding will help you in solving reading so reading is not like okay i give you one trick you can solve it it's a combination of your core skills plus the expert skills which we develop in pt universe because we at pt universe believes that your first attempt should be the last attempt we do not need to repeat for exams again and again recently our students have got their success with us you could check our success stories and feel free to check the testimonials we also they have written for us on instagram which is pte universe you will find lots of stories and highlights and lots of feedbacks where you will get to know how different people who were working professionals or who were having kids made Uh, made this success stories with us with consistent efforts hard works and smart work and the right strategies at the right time so uh, it's golden chance don't uh, miss the chance don't repeat learn the things from the experts get it evaluated get personalized retention work on the problematic areas which we are working and make a strategy in the few previous sessions i have guys talked about planners daily planners weekly planners monthly planners i don't know how many of you are using you need to identify where you are where you want to go and how many efforts you are putting it so if you are doing the planned preparation success will come to you for sure and that too in the first attempt but without planning it doesn't come to you i hope you have attended our live session of writing module also which just happened one hour before if you have not checked you can check it on youtube which has been uploaded you should subscribe our channel also guys pte universe we are coming frequently live so that you can check the recordings if in case if you miss some sessions because all sessions we are not able to give link so make sure you subscribe so thank you so much for connecting you could let us know your feedback in the zoom group chat how you like the session what should be the topic of next session so whenever we come live uh, we can include whatever content you want in our session so you, that you could get benefit and uh, 
so we're gonna try to help you out in all these things thank you so much for being a part of today's session guys it was nice having you all here Ma. feel free to check the testimonials please bye bye <laughs>